Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to show you several different fixes and solutions on how to address the iPhone text tone not working. So this means that you may be receiving text messages, but there'll be no alert or notification or sound whatsoever. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys a few awesome tips on how you can fix this. So the first tip that I recommend you to try, and this is by far the most obvious, but I know many people, including myself, still fall for it, and that is to go ahead and make sure the silent switch is not on. So if you can see an orange switch there, that means the silent mode is activated. So you just want to go ahead and flick that switch up and that will just now allow us to have the phone on the loud mode. So we will now receive um, sound on the notifications. So as an extra step, you just want to go ahead and push the buttons and make sure the volume is all the way up as well. Okay guys, so another really awesome tip that you can try is to actually go ahead and adjust the ringer volume and the notification volume on your iPhone as it actually is a separate setting that you can adjust within the iPhone itself. So just before I show you guys this, as you can see my volume is on the maximum. However, if I go into the settings on my iPhone and then if I scroll down to sounds and haptics, as you can see, the ringer and alerts is actually a separate setting and it's right on low, even though my volume is on the maximum. So pretty much all I wanna do is just go ahead and slide this all the way up to the top. And this will be an individual setting from the actual um, volume setting when I can play on music and videos as well. So if you actually wanna make this the same as toggling with the buttons, you can go ahead and turn this on. So now when you adjust the volume and the sound on videos and music, this will also change the sound of the alerts and the ringer volume as well. So if I go ahead and adjust the buttons now, it will now adjust the ringer as well. So if none of these fixes have still worked for you, the next thing I recommend you to do is to actually go ahead and hard restart your iPhone device. So much like when your computer has a glitch or a bug, you go ahead and essentially turn it off and on again or reset it. And the same applies for the iPhone device. So instead of just going ahead and powering the iPhone off and then turning it back on, you actually wanna go ahead and apply a hard restart. So for the iPhone 6 and below, you can hard restart your device by pressing and holding onto the home button and the lock screen for around 30 seconds or until the device repowers up again. And if you have the iPhone 7, you can do the same by pressing the volume down and the lock screen button together for the same amount of time. And if you have the iPhone 8 or above, so this is the iPhone 10 and 11 and 8, you can do this by pressing the volume up, the volume down, and then pressing onto the lock screen button until the iPhone repowers back up. So this should hopefully remove any temporary glitches for the alerts on your iPhone device. Okay guys, so the next thing you can try is to actually go into the settings and adjust the notification settings within the Messages app itself. So you can easily do this by going into settings and then you just wanna go back and then you wanna scroll down to notifications. And once you're in here, you just wanna scroll down until you see messages and then you just wanna go ahead and tap on this. And the first thing you want to look out for is to allow notifications and then you want to go ahead and set the notifications to your specific liking. So at the moment I have notifications on my lock screen notification and banners as well. And just below that we now have the sounds. So we're now able to set the sounds and the vibration for our messages. So if I go ahead and tap into here, I can actually go ahead and select the certain tone for the notification. So if this is on none, this is mean I will not receive any sound when I receive a text message. So you just want to ensure that one of these is selected and this will ensure that you do receive a sound notification when you do receive a message as well. And while you're here, you can also set the vibration to your liking also. Okay guys, so the last thing you can try to get the sound uh, notifications back on the messages is to actually go ahead and update the iOS on your iPhone. So depending on the software and hardware version you have, there actually may be a conflict between the two. So you just want to ensure you are on the latest version of the iOS as this should patch any temporary bugs or glitches that Apple may have missed. So if you want to go ahead and update your iPhone, you can simply do this by going into settings and then scroll down to general and then go to software update and if this is highlighted in blue this means that there is a new update that you can upgrade to so you just want to go ahead and press download and install and this will bring you up to the most recent version of the iOS.
So there you have it guys, there's a few simple tips and tricks that you can try on how to get the sound back on the notifications for your messages. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you've come up with your own solution or fix, please share it down below in the comments section as you'll be helping many other iPhone users out there. So as always, thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one.